Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends, Season 8, Episodes 3 and 4. I cannot wait to get into more of Fred's. I mean, we're going to see Ross find out that he is having a kid with Rachel. Are they going to drag this out? Is this going to be like the Chandler and Monica reveal in Season 5, which was such an amazing arc for the show? I still think that was a top arc of all of Friends, for sure. But... Is Ross going to find out soon? You know, is he going to put it together? How long is Rachel going to keep it from him? How long is everyone else going to be able to keep it from him? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to that moment. That's got to be a legendary moment. I mean, I don't know if... I don't know how Ross is going to react. Is it going to be pure panic? Is he going to feel like he needs to get back together with Rachel? Does Rachel even want to get back together with Ross? I feel like probably not at this point, but... I feel like it just opens the door with so many possibilities for where they're going to take this storyline, this reveal. But as always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon, that's the best way to support the channel. That's also where you can watch future episodes of Friends. If you don't want to wait, let's just get right into it. Friends, Season 8, Episodes 3 and 4. Excited? We're going on our honeymoon? Come on, pretty mama. That's right. Get out of your system while we're alone. I hope they have a great honeymoon. The only thing I couldn't find, though, was your Speedo. <laughs> speedo? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta cover it up now, Chandler. I am telling the father today. Dang, okay, it's gonna happen. Is she actually going to or will she decide not to? We know it's Ross. Wow, it was his sweater. Uh... But oh my god! Uh... <laughs> I am so relieved that you guys know. Oh, this is so great. They're all so excited. That's great. Me too. Woo! Glad to be an uncle. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cool being an uncle. Advice on how I'm going to tell Ross. What were you going to say? What would be the best way, right? He can be as involved as he wants. Sounds good. Yeah, but, you know, how do I start? Yeah, how do you break the news? You might be on your own. You might be on your okay, own, great, Rachel. <laughs> Ask Chandler. Maybe he has something funny to say. Jill and Ross are going to have a baby. What? <laughs> no, that. Why didn't you tell me? Well, we're telling you now. Am I talking like this? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, Ross talks like that too when he finds out. I have kept all of our secret. Let's see. I'm not going to tell you because I am an excellent secret keeper. Are you? You tell me later. You already know. <laughs> And all the people who are loud are never the ones who are good at keeping secrets, right? I'm just, I'm so curious if this storyline is going to lead to Ross and Rachel getting back together. Because Ross is a really good dad, and I still think Ross is in love with Rachel. I just don't know if she has feelings for him, right? Ross and Rachel are having a baby. You and I should do something. All in good time, my love. <laughs> oh, dang. Phoebe's <laughs> like, just wait, just wait. I left my guitar in their apartment, me in later, right? No, I don't have a key. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Keep my key the last time. You broke the ketchup bottle and cleaned it up with Monica's guest towels? <laughs> <laughs> You're bad for life. I do. I really need my guitar. I have stuff in there, too. What? Monica's chicken bomb. <laughs> okay, that is stuff. Like in Chandler's apartment. It's an emergency. Gas leak. And bring garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> if he brings garlic bread, that would be incredible. Did Rachel find you? No, what? Oh, she was looking for you. Don't say it accidentally, Phoebe, please. I'm gonna talk to you now. Yeah, it uh, seemed pretty important. You're being so obvious. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what do you think it is? I think I might know what this is about. You do not. You do not. Really? What is he gonna think about? Yeah, uh, Rachel and I slept together. And? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I thought you'd be a little more shocked. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. And? <laughs> yeah, do a take two, Phoebe. Start things up again. Yeah, I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Oh, wow. I don't feel well. You're going to leave Phoebe to come up with the cover? Oh, no wonder she was looking at me all funny during the wedding. Didn't say anything to you? I mean... You ate. <laughs> We're both very, very sick. You know what I have to realize? Not the type of guy women can have just one night with. Always <laughs> seem to want a little bit more. <laughs> what a burden, Ross. You think you have a problem now? You think you have a problem now? Uh, I mean, does that mean that Ross is a perpetual optimist? I'm in love. I'm in love too, in an orderly fashion. <laughs> 
we're on our honeymoon. There are some first class seats available. Oh dang, what? What? I them up to first class, but- You guys aren't gonna get it. You guys aren't gonna get it. We are on our honeymoon. <laughs> in love with my new husband. Congratulations. She's not gonna buy it. Okay. Uh, no, you see, um, we're on our honeymoon. Your little thing and bumps up to first. No, no, no. That couple got the last two. I believe they took away my key. The rock'em sock'ems. What is that? Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh. There was a gas leak in here. The time I found it on this thing, the whole place might have exploded. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. <laughs> People are going to start asking questions. They should have come up with a different lie. No. Oh, shoot. We have the first class lounge. <laughs> they get everything better. Act like you belong. Oh I have God, never I been just... here. <laughs> Who has been the first class lounge? How nice is it? Tickets, please. Yes, of course. Flash it quick. Move your thumb. I can't see the seat number. This is not a first class ticket. Not the first time this has been tried. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Monica with her little kid voice. Go, go, go. Okay, this is it. <laughs> Ross, no. No, Ross. Oh my gosh, this is just perfect. This is just perfect. I can't wait for the death blow. I think there's something that we really need to talk about. I think we do. <laughs> we go inside. <laughs> Please faint or something. <sighs> Look, uh, I knew you'd come back for more. I knew it. Embarrassment. Um, I think maybe I should talk first. Oh, that's a good idea. Ross and Rachel. One heck of a seesaw, hasn't it? I mean, yes, that's true. That one night we had was fun. Better if we just stay friends. Oh, really? Seriously, what? If you want to, we can do it one more time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's the way, that's his angle. I get it. Time right now. <laughs> Talk now? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, day he's sitting down. If he was standing, he might fall backwards. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't register. He's Ross. frozen. His brain is frozen. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> she has a magazine. <laughs> okay, Rachel, that's legendary. You're the father, by the way, but you got it. <laughs> That was not what I expected, but that was pretty good. Can I get you some water? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you can be as involved as you want. <laughs> what is that expression? How do you even make that face? It's like... I don't understand how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to step you through this? How we this works? I know. Oh. Dang. Only work 97% of the time. Oh, dang, that is bad luck. What? <laughs> Nothing's 100%, Ross. Put that on the box! <laughs> they do. No, they don't! <laughs> Sue the company, the condom company. <laughs> they should put it in huge block letters! <laughs> Let's just forget about the condom. I may as well have. <laughs> freaked out too when freaked I found out. Hey, no, I'm not freaked out. <laughs> Dignant as a consumer. Leave a bad review on the website. I want to talk to the president. <laughs> the condom president. <laughs> Come back. Oh. He needs a witness. Press one. <laughs> No, Rachel, stay. You're gonna miss out on this. And this door was like a child to them. New lock. They'll find out anyway. Oh, no. Just say it was time for an upgrade. God, what happened to the door? It's noticeable, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course. When I slept together, but there's something else. We know. Don't worry. Rachel's pregnant. Oh, oh my God, God, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> That is great. They practiced that. That is great. Child. That is brand new information. <laughs> No, don't you? A little bit. Dig it. Dig it. A little bit overdone. I don't think I handled it very well. Condom company got an earful. I wish we could have seen that whole phone call. Condoms are only 97% effect. What? <laughs> oh, hey, oh, Joey's oh, gonna oh. rethink his whole life now. Percent of the time, they don't even work. They should put that on the box. <laughs> they do. What? 
<laughs> Holy Joey, you are prepared. <laughs> what? <gasps> There's no escape. I would like to give you the honeymoon suite. Oh my gosh. Were you just 10 seconds later? Have the suite if you want. Celebrate our love for each other. Ooh. We just want to be together. We need the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> coming from your apartment I could break down your door yeah do that blame us for any damage no <laughs> this is well played thing come on i'll break it down don't break the chair is he gonna break the chair okay how are you doing oh, that's pretty good that's pretty good don't break that okay we're in <laughs> just uh say the chair got broken because he rushed in so go? fast uh, if i said i was would you judge me They sold these at Pottery Barn? Hi. Hi. Apologize for the way I acted earlier today. Okay. Okay, good. You stamp near my head. What? Oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> I went a little crazy. I mean, a little. Okay, you, head right? Ross, head Ross, right, head Ross. Right. Through this whole thing, okay? Of course. A baby proofing the apartment until after we get married. Well, married? What? B because that's I your don't answer know. to everything? <laughs> dang, dang. Oh, that's like a killing blow. Thing to do. Yeah, maybe. We're not in love, are we? No, but do this alone. Excuse me? You can't even eat alone in a restaurant. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a bad angle, Ross. Can too eat by myself. People leave the table and I am not finished. <laughs> will take two hours. Grew up with Monica. If you didn't eat fast, you didn't eat. <laughs> There's a reason for everything. It's the father. But not the husband, because evidently she can do this alone. I don't know why you can't admit that you need me. Did you just stay near my head? <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're fighting again. This is great. Is your baby. Oh my god. Wow. I'll give you two a minute. How long before they start bickering again? Oh, dang. I don't see it! <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what? I can't see it! Terrible mother, I can't even see it! Oh, you're not a bad mother. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Do you really? No, I don't see it! <laughs> Does she need glasses? What's going on? <laughs> Anything that looks like a peanut? Can they make it work together? That's our baby. I don't know. I will. I don't know. What an interesting ending. I don't see the baby. Where is it? Ross, I lost it again. Oh, oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> I like how emotional Rachel has been, you know. Okay, they're back. I hope you guys had a good time with the upgrades. Go in there and spend the rest of our life together. Sticking with the shell necklace, huh? <laughs> oh dang, that's all you had to say back, Monica? Incredible couple on the flight back. That was the best part? Good. Honeymooning, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go call them? Is it too soon to call? A couple to hang out with. A couple? Oh dang. People, like one, two people. <laughs> <laughs> Greg and Jenny are in a relationship. Greg and Jenny, ugh. <laughs> This is Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I support Phoebe 110%. Buy souvenirs and get the hell out of here. <laughs> I agree. Got to be kidding me. Anyone. Mm -hmm, yeah, nice necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really going to have a new uh, couple who they're friends with? That could be interesting, especially if things get competitive. But Ross and Rachel, man, I can't tell... The way they ended last episode makes me actually think they might get back together, which could be very interesting. I have a sonogram picture. Oh. Can't find the baby, but it's okay. It's got your wavy black lines. <laughs> and too much gel in his hair. When did it happen? How many times did it happen? That's not right. Start with where. <laughs> it's already there, because I guess you've been hanging out with Joey. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Joey's like, you're welcome for the assist. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ross comes on to me. That's a little misleading. Oh, what's your version, Ross? Lie you just told. Came on to me? There's the one. He's like, you came on to me. It's, it's not important. Matter who came on to me. It does matter. Boom. It does. <laughs> and grammar is also important. That's right. 
<laughs> Ross's stare. Signals all over the place. I can use signals? Yeah. Oh, please. Okay. Actually send Ross begging signals. Please show hands. <laughs> Please tell me we're gonna get to actually see the seed. Maybe I need to be more careful. I think you need these signals right now. Yeah, I mean, you got signals from your cousin, man. <laughs> I can show you. I have it on videotape. What? <laughs> How? It's an expression. <laughs> it is not. How did it. Wait, Ross has hidden cameras or what? I do wanna see what happened, though. He taped the two of them having sex. Such a rookie mistake. <laughs> There's a great video camera. I'm Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> 4K. 8th Street Deli? It's the deli again. Wait, did they give the wrong number? You got fake numbered. <laughs> oh, dang, that other couple didn't like them. They gave us a fake number? They do that. I don't know. It could be a mistake. Great questions. Never been funnier. I mean, joke, 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 joke. <laughs> Maybe you guys are just in love on your honeymoon. Nancy. Excuse me, I don't want Greg and Jenny's rejects. <laughs> I don't want to be the rebound friends. I agree. Pervert. I am not a pervert. That's like the pervert motto. Raise your right hand, left hand down your pants, and repeat that. <laughs> That's the swearing in. <laughs> what happened? And Joey, you can back me up on this. How? First, what, what personal thing? Hadn't had sex in months. I know what you were talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh, Joey. Joey. <laughs> oh, okay, we're actually going to see this. Through a dry spell. Like months? Five, lying six. <laughs> Learning to appreciate the uh, smaller things in life, like... Like what? The color of the sky. No, the sky's no, no, blue, no. Ross, and I had sex yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Has to go well, okay? I'm for my health. Okay, okay. Okay, okay it's a story very romantic. Well, then tell it to me. You don't want to have sex with me when you hear it, but... Oh my gosh, no, no. I'll try to control myself. <laughs> What is this story going to be? Backpacking across Western Europe. Western Europe. Have a nice six more months, Ross. Dang, dang, just let, let the master speak. Tall trees all around. A beautiful woman, she was crying. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how this uh, went down here. Backpacking across Western Europe. Really? Mm -hmm. Wait, it gets better. <laughs> I mean, hopefully it's not the end of the story. Can you imagine? Studied for a year in Barcelona. It's hiking. I love hiking. Oh, that's great. <laughs> hiking along the foothills. I think it's Tibidabo. Okay, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that went. I'm across the street having sex with her right now. <laughs> Your story sucks. Hey, look. It could be the delivery. Oh, Ross, I'm not hot. Are you hot? Six months, I'm always hot. You're not selling the store. Believe it. Yeah, take some acting classes with Joey. When I'm preparing for an audition, record yourself and, and see what you're doing wrong. Uh, okay, okay. If you have any problem with the ladies, you know I'll help you out. <laughs> that means a lot to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> That is some good self-control. That is some good self-control, Joey. This is actually a genuine reason, though, why Ross had the videotape going, right? Get you anything, huh? Lens cleaner? Better be okay. <laughs> Ross! Hi. Well, we are gonna see. We are gonna see. Are you just talking to yourself? Less embarrassing? Yes, yes, I was. God, about the camera. We're gonna need to see that tape. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just forget the tape. No. You're right. <laughs> no. He's not gonna give up. He's not gonna give up. <laughs> Just play the opening of the tape so we can see you talking to yourself, Ross. That'll prove you're innocent. Fake numbers, but they don't give out fake names. Ken Adam. Regina Falange. <laughs> Get him. We didn't do anything wrong. I know. Joe. <laughs> Oh, come on. If they don't appreciate his jokes, you guys don't want to hang. <laughs> They're loving this. Maybe it was all of your questions, like flying with the Riddler. Another joke? Was that another question? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an honest mistake. I had sex with you, and I taped it. I mean... Oh, forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should have, that should have been obvious, Rachel. Mother of my child, the king of the West Village. <laughs> was an accident. It was, it was. You couldn't make up a story like that. You're comfortable destroying it yourself. Why are you doing that? You don't want to 
see this, do you? Hell yeah! Oh, dang, they, they all want to see it? Sex part, just the stuff leading up to it. Oh, okay, okay. Rachel's tape, and she can do whatever she wants. She's gonna play it, she's gonna play it. Destroy it, so... Not anymore. I want to see it. You so badly don't want people to see it that it makes me want to see it, do you see? I see, I see. You don't want them to see you begging me. Please. Oh, a little preview. <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to be right here? Going to be saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for sure, Rachel's correct, right? That'd be a plot twist if Ross was right. Hello. Okay, okay, we get to see this. So happy. <laughs> to yourself? Oh, there I am. There's almost like a friend's reaction video. Send all these wedding invitations. Completely forgot about them until today. Little confessions. Glad he made it to the wedding. I'm fine. Kind of hurt my what? hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> Monica just went on and on and on about it. <laughs> no liquids around the invitation. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, how's your hand going to be at the end of this? Do it on our invitation? Plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Not on the ones we sent out. <laughs> the ones you gave back to us, we had framed. <laughs> Now, if we hadn't gotten caught, I mean, do you think we would have done it? I think so. I just wasn't sure if you wanted to. No, oh, I wanted to. We both wanted to. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> I think they both wanted to here, too. Anyway. Mm. Um, Who made the move, though? Ten seconds, you're going to see him kiss me. Five seconds, you're going to see what? Time that I went backpacking through Western Europe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wait, she learned from Joey? Okay, I did not see that coming. Ready to see some begging. Came on to Ross! <laughs> now I'm so happy. <laughs> the Europe story. Use when you want to have sex. <laughs> How do you know about that story? You know about that story. <laughs> Who first came up with this story? Who well, heard it from some guy? Some guy. <laughs> Oh, dang. Wow, Ross was right. His name was Ken Adam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a pretty legendary way to connect all the storylines of this episode. I did not see that coming. All right. If Ross is smart, he won't gloat. I think it would have happened either way. It was an amazing night. Okay, so... I think it looked amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I... Only I, one I, way to know. Yet. It'd be weird. It would be really weird. But you're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make sure the door is locked. Smart move. There go the clothes. Awfully quickly. Six months, Rachel. Six months. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> <Huh. Hi. laughs> Pretty good. I, I was gonna say been working out? I have been working out. <laughs> Much better than I ever... Oh, uh, did. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's not pretty. Oh. <laughs> it stopped. Oh, no. Make it stop. No. Let's make it stop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These episodes are so good, I swear. They're all number. That is so jenny. <laughs> that's really what happened? It happened Sunday. The week after that? Oh, no. Funny people with good questions. And <laughs> January 15th. We'll see you then. Okay. They don't want to see them, do they? They, they must have loved this couple. <laughs> it's just about the competition for Monica. That's all that really mattered. All right, so that is Friends Season 8, Episodes 3 and 4. I thought those were two just amazing episodes. I mean, both of them were so, so strong, so funny, so many things happened in each one. But episode three, we didn't have to wait long. I mean, I'm kind of glad. I was kind of wondering if they're going to have like a long arc of Ross not knowing what happens. But no, they just, they ripped the Band-Aid off. They got it done. And I was not, you know, I, I was looking forward to seeing how Ross would react. And I was not, I was not disappointed. I was surprised. I, it was less, it was more shock and just staring from Ross than I thought. And then the fact that he turned into pure rage on the condoms <laughs> and the condom company and industry, I thought was was unexpected, but was really, really special. It's like you can be safe, but you can only be so safe. 
And I, I like how, you know, everyone else knew once again before Ross, just like Ross is the last one to find out about Chandler and Monica. There's something just poetic and beautiful about him being the last one to find out about his own child. Right. And then I like I like the arc, the little miniature arc they had with Ross and Rachel that episode where they they it starts where Ross has a pretty poor reaction, although obviously it was amazing for us to watch that. At least I loved every second of it. But then he calms down. He shows up up to talk to Rachel he kind of explains himself but then they get back into fighting and I feel like that I, I thought we were kind of going to go back into the dynamic that they had I believe at the beginning of season three which was very very entertaining and I was like okay we're gonna have Ross and Rachel bickering it's not gonna be them getting back together but then once they saw the kid and we did have the hilarious joke of Rachel not being able to see her kid but once they saw that like it kind of brought them together and that was a sweet moment and I could you could feel it in that moment the connection that they shared and just how this could lead to something and so I just think this is an interesting way to possibly reopen the door of Ross and Rachel it's, it's very different than what it was right because I think I think they were both being honest when they told each other like I don't love you you don't love me I don't think they were bluffing in that moment but it might be the type of love that creeps up on you and I don't know I, I could just see I, I it, it definitely leaves the door open like I could also see they go the route where Ross and Rachel co-parent but they're not going to be together and they end up you know, going their separate ways, but it could be the route that this is kind of the thing that leads them back together, even though they probably wouldn't have without this kid happening. But hey, I mean, that's a tale as old as time. That's happened to many people. I feel like sometimes it works out for the best, sometimes it doesn't, but it can turn out to be a beautiful thing. It might be that thing that brings them together as a family, and maybe they will realize and remember the love that they have for each other. And then, of course, we had uh, Monica and Chandler on their honeymoon, and I, I like the, how that went, right? I mean, I have obviously never been on a honeymoon, but do you get free upgrades? To, has anyone, anyone who's been on a honeymoon and has gotten either upgraded to first class or gotten a better room or just anything significant, free drinks even, just do people treat you better on your honeymoon? I mean, I know there's people who are very polite and will, like, say congratulations, but do you get a lot of free upgrades? Is that something that's common? But I like how they kept just following that couple around and, you know, being envious of all the free things that they were getting. They were just too late. And then when they finally like snapped and Monica was just yelling at the couple, I feel like the girl kind of had a checkmate response where it's just like, we don't need all the free stuff. We're just happy with each other. But I like how Monica and Chandler, like they weren't embarrassed. They're like, well, we want the free stuff. I mean, come on, like you can be in love, but no one's going to complain about getting a free upgrade. Plus, I honestly feel like it didn't even have to do with the, with the extra room or the first class, you know, seats. I think it it was more with, uh, you know, Monica felt like there was an injustice. And, you know, once you tap into Monica's competitive side, there's just no putting out that fire. So she's not going to be satisfied until she gets the one up on someone else. So I feel like it was at least 50% that, maybe 90%. But in that storyline, I like, um, you know, Joey and Phoebe. Joey and Phoebe make a great duo. I mean, they're kind of teaming up and both of them are <laughs> coming up with a story to cover the reason why Monica and Chandler's door gets broken down. And then I love my favorite aspect of the two of them is the fake reaction that they have when uh, Ross tells them the news that Rachel's pregnant, right? It's like they, they messed up earlier in the episode by not reacting. So I don't know whether they had a little miniature meeting together and were like, okay, this is how we're going to react when Ross tells us, or if they just didn't even need to have that conversation. Either one would just be a cool thing that kind of shows how cool and unique the, their friendship between the two of them is. But I, I like that over the top reaction, like in sync, they were ready. I mean, they overdid it, but okay but as entertaining as episode three was i don't even think it compared to how amazing episode four was i mean episode four was uh i loved it and let me know in the comments if anyone else also thought that that episode stood out as just an excellent excellent episode but i just thought it was such an engaging storyline i love how we got to see i mean i can't be the only one who was curious about like what events specifically led up to ross and rachel getting back together and i actually forgot about you know how close they Oh, that how that almost happened earlier with Chandler and Monica's engagement. I kind of forgot about that instance. So I'm glad they brought that up. I was like, hey, that's true. That almost did happen. And just the whole the whole way that the, the writing and structure of this episode, I thought was just perfect. It was so well done, right? I mean, I love how it's a flashback, how we have how it starts out kind of with a disagreement over the events and what happened, who came on to who, who made the move. It's such a perfect type of argument for Ross and Rachel to have like such like if you had to 
uh, explain how perfect their fighting dynamic was. I feel like this perfectly encapsulate just how entertaining that is fighting over something so ridiculous and being so stubborn about it and you know poor ross has to go to joey because he's desperate and joey gives him this story i mean that's already kind of a hilarious setup we have ross talking to himself and then you know i like how monica gets to hear all the trash that rachel was talking rachel's like quick we got to fast forward through this part but then it was just it was such a perfect way to tie everything together right with the story that Joey had told Ross, of course, I, I, I feel like, and I don't know, we won't ever know this, but I feel like Ross would not have known to make the move if he had not already heard that story from Joey. So thankfully, he knew that that was a clear signal and that gave him the courage or the green light to go ahead and make the move. And I just like how Rachel thought no one else knew about this story and she was going to be proven right. But of course, she was proven wrong, which let's be honest, that is kind of a plot twist. Like I was sitting there and I was like, it's kind of the obvious thing. If Ross is the one who makes the first move, if anyone's going to be begging in this situation, stereotypically, I feel like it's easy to say it was Ross. But even though that was obvious, I was like, I just don't see Rachel doing that. But just the, the way they played that out, the way that they subverted that with Rachel being the one to first start telling the story, I thought was just perfect. And then even connecting things to like the fake names that Joey used before. And then, of course, we wrapped up that episode with uh, with Rachel and Ross watching each other on the tape. But that was a hilarious final joke, too, right? It's like they're both like judging it like a performance, like a sports match like oh not too bad okay we do good and then after a certain point like no 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 we need to shut this off and they both are in agreement which almost made that even better and just seeing some of those scenes together I feel like I can absolutely see Ross and Rachel getting back together and I'm kind of pulling for them again I know we're back to season one dynamic but see, just little moments like that that they can share that together and have a similar response and just ha share that rapport. I'm like, they do make sense on a certain level, but we'll see. I, the show definitely isn't showing all its cards and revealing where they're going to head with the two of them. And then, of course, we have the B storyline of Chandler and Monica meeting a couple and hitting it off with them, or so they thought. It's kind of like with, with uh, Joey's girlfriend who really uh, hated them, right? It gives me a similar type of vibe where Chandler and Monica get upset. They're like, how could this couple not love us? We're so amazing. My advice to them would just be like, like, look, if they don't like you for who you are, just don't pursue them. You have plenty of great, but you have Joey and Phoebe, for goodness sakes. You're not desperate for good friends who love you for who you really are. But yeah, I mean, I, I really, uh, I'm really loving season eight so far. I just have to say, like, it's it started off so strong with the reveals about Rachel's pregnancy and who the father was. Uh, but these two episodes were just as good, if not stronger. I mean, really, really funny. I just feel like the jokes are on point. The writing is on point. I'm interested to see where they head from here, especially with Ross and Rachel. I just, I feel such energy for the start of this season, and I'm really, really enjoying that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon, along with future episodes of Friends. By the way, in case you haven't seen any of these reactions, you probably have, but I am reacting to The Big Bang Theory. I have started that. I'm having a lot of fun with the first season of that show. So in case you want to check that out, you haven't seen them pop up on your feed. Most of, the, most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so I guess there's a chance you haven't seen those reactions, but you can feel free to check those out, and obviously those are out on Patreon as well. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.